Hey friends, welcome back to Golden Papery and we are going to go over my small business planner and finances for the third week of August. Wait, now I gotta check. Are we in the third week? Okay, yes, third week of August. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you guys know that I quit my job not too long ago and my last day of full-time work was last week so i didn't plan anything for last week not only because was it busy but also because i had to travel out of the country unexpectedly for a personal family matter and i didn't have any time to work i didn't have any internet connection where i was at and so it was one of those weeks where we just didn't do anything so on top of not only it being my last day um of being a full-time employee at the organization that i worked at i want to say worked at but i'm still working there a couple of hours during the week um you know it, it took a little bit of a transition because as soon as i came back which was on friday i had to get on top of some of the things that I was already behind on. So it's it's a little bit weird, right? That you're having to, you know, you're, you leave a company, but you're still working there. And so I am now working for myself and it's my marketing IT, it's a marketing and IT consulting agency that I opened up back in 2020. And this is this will be the first time ever that I'm working on my own. So this planner or the, the purpose of this A5 planner, and you'll see here that I actually switched it out from that Moterm planner that I was using. I'm now using the Filofax Domino Personal Organizer in the A5 size. And the purpose of this planner is merely for business purposes. Now, I will admit that you will be seeing some personal items here, especially if it means that I need to make sure I block off that time from anything that I do. So in this case, you'll be seeing that I write down when I need to pick up my daughter from school because I need to drive over there. And then... I do also have a dentist appointment this week, and so I also do not want to schedule anything for that time. Um, and so this is what it is. Like, this is my company. I have to add my own meetings. I have to block off time to work on client projects. And currently, I'm working on designing two dashboards, so two and actually, it'll be three different dashboards, but it's for the current organization that I'm only going to be doing part-time work for. And then I have another client, another company that I'm also designing an HR KPI dashboard. And so I also mentioned in the past that because this is not only an IT consulting or data analyst services company... I also do marketing, I also do IT support, I also do web design. And so it really is a mesh of the different skills that I have learned since I have moved into the technology industry. And an example that I'll give is just today, I did an antivirus installation for three computer devices remotely. And you know, that work really is, it's not time consuming, but it's quick and it's things that I can invoice for a quick amount. You know, the three devices took less than an hour and I was able to um, price that over $150. So those are kind of examples that I wanted to give you of, you know, not only how great this field is when you are able to get the skills and be able to go off on your own and build your clientele but I can tell you that it took it took a couple of years to get here from where I was at so 
um, going back to the planner, I decided to switch over to this A5 planner and not use the personal one. So my personal planner is still going to stay on the Plan With Me series. And this video is going to live under the Small Business Planner and Finances playlist. So you're going to see that difference just in case if people don't want to look at the business side, um, you know, they're not able to relate to it. But I still wanted to give you a quick update of how I plan for my business and also give you an insight into the finances on how I do everything. One, because when I started to build off this business, I didn't know absolutely anything about resources, how to file an LLC you know, what licenses I needed, insurances. And so I'm hoping that this playlist will help out any other women or individuals who are trying to get into this type of field or also anyone who's trying to go off and start a business. Like really, that's just what it's about. So right here, you're seeing me add in some of the priorities that I have uh, for this week. And so I'm Always, always, I write down my meetings, especially when it means that I have to connect with my clients and give them an update of the work that I'm doing for them. Now, something that I pride myself in is that I'm very honest about my time and very honest about my work. And so if there are things that are going behind or we have challenges, or in this case, I had to leave out of town, you know, I'm very upfront with my clients and I tell them this is what's going on, but I can give you an update on this day. So that's the plan for this week. Monday, it's going to be a lot of catching up, a lot of invoicing. Um, what didn't help out is that I had clients who contacted me. And so that's something I'm going to have to get used to, like not trying not to schedule so much in a day so that I can also allow myself for people to come into my office for any questions that they have because I do have an on-site office here downtown where I live and then also be able to have time to make phone calls or return phone calls and so this is just a quick little view of everything that's happening this week um, another thing that I want to mention is that it's going to look fairly empty. Back in the day when I started doing my A5 planning, that used to bother me so much. But I now feel a little bit better about this because I know that I do not want to schedule that many things throughout the day. So what I'll be trying to utilize as the week goes on, right, are the priorities list and the to-do list and the notes section. And then another divider section that I have here is my inbox. And so how I'm going to use this inbox are extremely urgent things that I have to do or things that I do not want to forget about. So if I don't want to add it on my, like my daily tracking, I'm going to add it here on my inbox and then just put the little check mark on the action required section. So I'm adding here an example. I need to schedule a meeting with another potential client that wants a dashboard. And so I know that that's probably not going to be done this week, but I do need to follow up on that and schedule the meeting so that we can connect within two weeks. Um, and it's little things like that, right? It's going to help me prepare to also send them an email about, hey, this is what I need before we actually have the meeting. And then this is my business finances. So I'm just checking off the expenses that I have. I did also make a, a credit card payment for my business American Express card. Um, I know the balance is a, is a little bit high, but as I mentioned in the past, um, I was offline with my business for almost a year. And so this is not only me like quitting and, and getting back on it, but it's like starting from the beginning, right? It's making sure that I'm back on track into supplementing my income. And then I do also write down my income tracker. And so I put the date of when I did the service and then 
or the, I think I started off with the date that the ser the payment was due, but I, I'm switching it over to just the date that I did the service, the source of that payment, and then the total amount for that service. And so I can already tell you here that when I recorded this video, I only added um, another invoice that I did from the previous week. But while I'm recording this video, I've already invoiced two more clients. So those are updates that you'll be seeing in the following week if I end up trying to record this as a weekly series. But this is something that I do want to mention that the amounts are always going to be different because one, if I do website services, that's done over a series of months. And so I'm able to provide a payment plan for my clients. Or if I have some graphic design work, which you'll see here, like sometimes it's like super things that take like 15 minutes and you know, it's like a $60 project. So not too much going on, but, and again, you'll see that $25, we did some modifications to a flyer that was already finalized. And so it's little things like that, that you're going to see a little bit of this business when it comes to marketing, IT, data analytics, and web design. So this is, this is the week of August, week three of August. So I... I'm so glad that you guys are joining me and watching this video. And if this is something that you are continuing to look into, give me a comment. If there's something that you have questions about, I am more than happy to answer those questions in my upcoming videos or also give you insight into that. And feel free to check out my Etsy shop where I will be providing more business templates about how to pay yourself. So thanks for watching.